Blessings, grace and peace. When I listen to the message, I say, babe, I found him. That's the real deal. From that minute on, for months, it's not cheap to use the phone in prison. But I listened to him over and over. And now watch this. I came out of prison last year, February, right? I end up because I don't have any education. So yeah, welcome to our channel. So I want you guys to listen to this testimony. This testimony is explosive. Yes. So the guy went from nothing, from zero to hero. When you hear zero to hero, that is what this testimony is about. I want you to get your paper and pen begin to write begin to speak out if you can speak in tongues speak in tongues this testimony will take you to another level in your faith watch this video to the end okay Please. my name I'll is Ash right uh, I was born in America but raised in the Bahamas came back to America and um, came from a very dysfunctional family my, my father was a drug dealer and ended up on crack cocaine and so on and so forth um, I followed that same pattern. Unfortunately, I was to a point where I was eaten out of garbages. I was um, in mental institutions, walking around the streets of America in Miami barefoot. I, would, I wouldn't shower for near months. Um, you name it, been through it. I've been kidnapped three different times, taken out into the woods, um, beaten, so on and so forth. But God, However, I was raised in a Christian home, even though it, there was still a seed, a righteous seed. And, and then the Bible says, and the Bible tells us that before you was in your mother's womb, I knew you. And I ordained you a prophet unto the nations. And so, we say, train up a child in the way she go, and in the end it will not depart. So, I knew to run back to him. So, in 2020, I came, I ran into prison. And I said, okay, God, I, I, I need you. Well, from 2020 to 2022... I, I, I was fighting, but I was zealous and passionate. However, Paul talks about being zealous, but without knowledge. And so even though there were people in my family, sincerely, they, they didn't have what was needed. So in 2022, after falling down and getting back up and falling down and getting back up, I came to the end of myself. I said, God, something has to change. I'm desiring you. I'm, you know what I mean? Sometimes we follow that pattern. I'm jumping. I'm sowing seeds. Bam, bam, bam. Nothing just working. I keep on falling down. But one day, my, my girlfriend at the time, she said, babe, I need you in 2022. She said, I want you to listen to someone. And I was like, who you need me to listen to now? Note and be note that this is in prison. This is this isn't on this. I'm not on TV. Or I'm watching TV. This is in prison. And she said, This is an African preacher. I said, Man, I don't want to hear no African preacher right now, man. And so she says, she says, No, babe, I'm telling you, from the minute I heard Apostle Joshua voice. I listen to the message when I listen to the message I say babe I found him that's the real deal from that minute on for months it's not cheap to use the phone in prison but I listen to him over and over and now watch this I came out of prison last year February right I end up because I don't have any education so on so forth i had to work at waste management throwing garbage and so even though the money was okay and i was taking care of my home and everything eventually uh working i became very laborious i would be working garbage juice would be splashing in my face uh, but at the same time i had the opportunity to put air buds in my ears and so while i was while i was while i was listening to the while while I, this was going on and i was going through the struggle i would listen to three four sermons per day by apostle joshua selman and i remember when he said he talked about how he had a condition in his head 
and he was he was in the back of the class but he would speak in tongues he would talk about how he was driving the bicycle in the rain and so i said oh now i understand when i encounter trials and tribulation i can i can battle with the word that when men said there's a casting i mean men said there's a casting down you said that it's a lifting up and i can do all things through christ that strengthens me and so i would listen to the sermons and when i connected with him i connected with nathaniel bassi and so i was just listening to music my wife i listened to the music so much she said baby you soon be an african i say it is what it is <laughs> so but this is the thing everybody is talking about the grace of favor but i want to talk about the grace for speed remember hallelujah jesus hallelujah 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 jesus remember apostle always tells us he says these these are not cunning devised fables to earlier remember when he said there are people that can be in ministry for 20 years and you can have someone who is submitted to transformation in one year and overtake the person in 20 years listen 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 i now have two businesses i was i was homeless and i own now own my own home me and my wife and my mother-in-law we are now in the process listen in less than in less than 15 months we are about to build a homeless shelter and one last thing one last thing we are winning souls for Jesus hey this is koinonia this guy was in prison you know so but the thing is that he was consistent he got somebody gave him you know apostles message apostle joshua selman's message and he kept listening to it he kept listening to so the law of repetition it was happening it was hitting him it was hitting just like the word it keeps hitting like a hammer it keeps hitting you breaking it is breaking until it continues to break and when it breaks it penetrates into your soul and it begins to yield fruit so this was exactly what happened to him from nowhere this guy was in prison so but from prison he got out of prison and within a year imagine his life changed even when he was walking and garbage juice was pouring on him he kept listening to the message he kept pushing he didn't give up until his breakthrough came and within a year imagine he he held jesus he has two businesses and he even lives in his own house within a year he was able to establish two businesses and he bought a house all in the u.s this guy is 
a testimony, right? We all need to key into his testimony. That's why I'm, I'm uploading this video because I want people to listen to his testimonies and boost their faith because God can, God is helper. God can do anything. Anything. What, what God cannot do does not exist. I'm telling you, if, if you believe your life can change for the better, you can move from zero to hero, from nothing to something. Okay, praise the Lord. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button right away. Turn on your notifications to be among the first to get our videos. Give us a like, share this video with your family and friends. I will be seeing you guys all in my next video.